Okay, next up is Nathan Freeman. Uh, Nathan is lightning, crumbled laughs of insanity, masked rage, with the presence of a screaming, yet calm and articulate artist. Nathan sculpts and paints language into a mastered whirlwind of violence and beauty. He is intelligent and always willing to help others and show kindness. With great honor, my honor, Nathan Freeman. Thank you. I feel like I should say I didn't write that. I didn't like gloat about how great of a classmate I am. Um, I hope I was great class, but um, yeah, uh, Brandon wrote that, which he's not here, but thank you, Brandon, uh, wherever you are for writing that. Um, as with my colleagues, I have tons of people to thank. Um, I forgot to write names at the top of my paper, so thank you, everybody who's in here uh, equally. Uh, <laughs> It's been uh, it's been a lot of fun. This has been this has been a great experience, and uh, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Um, so this is going to be from my thesis, and all you really need it's the intro. Uh, all you really need to know is that it is strange. Um, here we go, and it's uh, the main character is newbie. So when you hear me say newbie, uh, that's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Newbie doesn't hit the rails like a punk ass anymore. It's a bright, bright and stormy night. Big lightning gnarls crooked over the city, and in the flash he sees smiles, darkly painted smiles, smiles slashed in ink crescents ear to ear across jaws, across white mask jaws. From the flank, front and back, breath huffs, puffs, and steams hot through each runner's drawn mouth. Arms and legs thrash, rubber soles smash and skid along storm-glazed roof rocks and loose shingles. Between groans and grunts, laughter. They hurtle and sprint along the reeling roofways in a mad skeletal army, clad up in torn jeans, old t-shirts, ripped jackets, soggy sneakers, and pale masks, grinning black. Newbie runs the middle of the line on the tippy tops of this mangled city. The walls are buckled brick and broken glass. The concrete is fractured and warped. The wood is long splinters. Out in the distance, still skyscrapers lean and arch. Between the charcoal dark of their craggy ridges, it's color. It's all color. The facades of walls, houses, buildings, grocer, butcher, baker, candlestick maker, all painted and glowing bioluminescent, glowing like a zillion multichromatic fireflies all zapping at once, or an enormous aquatic creature from an ocean trench signaling spastic neon. The brightest colors hum with energy. Ice whites, hot pinks, electric blues, limey greens, canary yellows, and the amalgamation of every mural buzzes low and sonorous. Color ties transmorgify into shapes, to, to figures cartoony and elongated, to battle boats and rocket cars, to lumbering tyrannosaurs and sprightly ballerinas, to illegible scrawl. And still other walls seem broadly splattered with crayon cannon blast, or boiled till the ooze burbled up and seeped over the cusp. Colors zip past, and Nubi's temples pulse. His blood beating his ears in a drum solo. His chest scorches with lit napalm, and it's squealing heat. It's singeing his aorta to little black sticks, but the combustion blasts his body past collapse, and the smile lashes him onward. His eyes are coal fires, and smoke billows steady from each nostril. His guts churn in a mess of belts and gears, and the smile lashes him onward. The sap that lines it bleeds in with the rain, and each time he tongues a trickle, a strawberry-flavored jolt fuels him like a machine. Up ahead, Billy's laughing his ass off, and the rasp of his mirth rings crisp over the wind gusts and panting. The wrecked heights are a dizzy trail, both familiar and mysterious. The twists and turns demand grace and finesse. The rain slicks the ground and makes the run that much more dangerous, but it's nothing compared to the torrents that came before. It was the storms that made these rails, this breakneck web of, tra web of tracks and wind that weave through the roofways. It was the storms that made the city. Months ago, these, these ruins had swayed in big tsunamis, then tumbled like dominoes, each gray husk curling over the necks. 
Streets were unwound, loopy as ribbon in the wind. Floodwaters lifted cars and trucks like dead bugs in a stream. Cyclones ripped doors and windows clean, wafted out the household junk they're in. Toasters, cabinets, food, television sets, phones, gadgets, silverware, band posters, ottomans, art, if you can call it that, and flung it free into the whirling streets. The storms have ripped, flipped, and rerouted the city mad, and so the newbie runs it madly. Through torn eye holes, he marks the rail before him, like a surfer on the inner tube of a crashing stone wave or an Indian trail with alloy fragment foliage. He marks the feet of the runner in front, and he marks the graffitied expanse. The broken, blighted world is swathed in paint, stroked, splattered, globbed, and plopped, drizzling like yoke, voltaic, and luminous. And in this colored chaos, the name Billy reads boldly clear and dark, for the black paint never glows, with his warnings and ravings that swish past like highway billboards. Abandon hope, all ye who enter my radiant dominion, and also wear sunglasses at night. Sincerely, Billy. Judge not and shut the hell up, lest ye be skinned alive and sautéed in chocolate syrup. Your pal, Billy. Thanks for visiting scenic apocalyptia. Now buzz off, or else love Billy. And of course, the city provides, written over and over, the city provides, the city provides, the city provides, as if it weren't enough that Billy spouted it in an endless mantra. Nubia has painted many murals here, but he can't account for the sheer magnitude of color, nor how it inexorably assembles itself into shape and sign. Before Altos fell from the rails, he liked to believe that the paint wasn't impossible, that they had awakened some strange magic. He believed that the storms had released a slumbering and ancient mysticism, something humanity forgot when they floundered into the era of logic and secularism, something that could be read like tea leaves or runes or piles of bird bones, something that could be comprehended and even possibly wielded. Newby's still pretty sure it's the drugs. He hits an alley gap, bounding it smooth as he strides through the space between the ledges. He sees the paint cascading down the ashlar to the abyss of the street, stories down, miles down, leagues down, so far down that holes look like dead pixels. His arms are numb now, but that's okay. In his sap numbness, he can't feel the cuts from stray wire, piping, and rebar, innards of the fissured buildings they traverse. He can't feel the sting of the rain, the weight of his backpack, and the wooden baseball bat slung between the straps like a baldric. On the rails, the drive to keep peace, pace is absolute and consuming. Every thought and every motion relies unequivocally on the run, on placing one foot in front of the other. He can't smell the black smile's fumes anymore, but they stream cold like menthol in the back of his throat. No, Nubi doesn't hit the rails like a punk ass anymore, and this is because he's learned to love them. Nubi runs and he marks the long lengths of wall that curve in colored sluices. He runs on tall and silent stone through the great field of dead towers that have blossomed in huge reaches, and you know what? Fuck it. Maybe magic does exist. They run. They run and they follow the rail high, high above fluorescent city streets, every jettered scrap slab and metal aglow from so much paint, so much sap in their blood and in their smiles. They run and they follow the rail down kaleidoscopic corridors of brick arches and split concrete, down stone skin walls tattooed with bright paint, paint, polish, garnish, tarnish, and paint. They run and they leap along graffiti towers, once vertical, now crested, waxing, waning. Thunder is a glee scream, and rain is happy tears. High above they run and they follow the rail through looted apartment windows and flights over alleys. They run and they follow the rail over washed up semis and crooked trailers, bloated orange with rust. The city is a dark rainbow. The city is glitzing with moonlight winks. For the masked runners, sound is rolling heartquake. Touch is electric sinew, sight is neon flourish, taste and smell are strawberry acid, and they hunt. Thank you. Thank you.